TMS Software recently released a new version of TMS Web Core. This version will come with various smaller improvement and a lot of bug fixes, but however, there is five major items that we'd like to mention. First of all, the T-Web Message Dialog component, which is a non-visual component that you can drop on a form instead of using the Message Dialog function, has language support. Creating pop-ups with TMS Web has always been easy. Now you can create pop-ups with opacity. That means you can create pop-ups with half transparency without using CSS. We extended the T-Web Edit Control with an input pattern, with a required flag, and with autofocus. Autofocus is especially important as it gives you the opportunity to select an edit control right when the form's being shown. This will make it easier to prepare forms for user interaction. The T-Web Client Connection Control that is used to communicate with other services on the web has a few new properties. First of all, the header property allows you to customize the header for any request. The user and password property allow you to implement authentication. Finally, we made some extensions to the T-Application object. Just like in a VCL application, every TMS Web Core application has one instance of T-Application. This object instance now has two new methods called root form and run script. With root form, you can open a new form by simply specifying its name. Run script allows you to run any JavaScript that you pass to it as a string. That's it for now, and let's have some fun with TMS Web Core.